Now I do have a um, I do have a fact that will probably ruin some people's uh, Tombstone movie watching experience. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah, we made it to Tombstone, Arizona. Yes, we get to do something in Arizona. Yeah, it's very cool looking. I mean, all the, the streets down here are closed down. And uh, we're getting ready to go to the gunfight yep. at the OK Corral. Yep. It's about like a 25 minute show and gunfight. Of course, you already know what happens. Oh, yeah. But no it's still <laughs> fun to watch. <laughs> Very old timey. Yes. Very historic. And it's just cool to be here where all the stuff took place, place from yeah. Tombstone. Now I do have a um, I do have a fact that will probably ruin some people's uh, Tombstone movie watching experience. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> now turn it off if you don't want to hear. <laughs> <laughs> so there was a one of the most famous lines in the movie was said by Val Kilmer who was playing Doc Holliday uh -huh. and Johnny Ringo was drunk in the streets of Tombstone uh -huh. and he's looking for a fight he's looking for a gunfight and he wants to fight to the death of somebody Doc <laughs> Holliday says his famous line don't any of you have the guts to play for blood I'm your huckleberry that's just my game Johnny Ringo's like who wants to play for blood? Who wants to fight? You know, whatever. <laughs> He's stumbling down the road or whatever. And of course, Doc Holliday steps off of the little porch there and he goes, I'm your Huckleberry. Yeah. However, he didn't say Huckleberry. Oh, I think I've heard that. He actually said, I'm your Hucklebearer. Yes, I did hear that before. So, a huckle is a handle on, on a, a casket. casket. Yes. And back in the day, they didn't call people who carried caskets pallbearers. Paul they called them hucklebearers, people who held the huckles yeah. and carried the caskets. So when Johnny Ringo was looking for a fight, <laughs> Doc Holliday steps off the porch and said, I'm your hucklebearer, <laughs> saying, I'll kill your ass and carry your <laughs> casket <laughs> to your funeral. <laughs> but he said it so quickly that people just Southern assume <laughs> that he said, I'm your huckleberry, and it kind of stuck. stuck. There's yeah. even memes and stuff, I'm your huckleberry. Yeah. But, and everybody's like, what does, even, what does that even mean? I'm well, your huckleberry. Like you're your right hand man, your yeah. battle buddy. <laughs> but spoiler alert, he actually said, I'm your huckleberry. I'll play it again so you can hear it. Don't any of you have the guts to play for blood? I'm your huckleberry. And it's just not as funny. It no. <laughs> so now, <laughs> every time you watch the movie and you see that scene and he says, I'm your Hucklebearer, you'll be like, oh, it's not the same. <laughs> thanks, thanks for ruining it. Bro. But it's a fun fact. It's a fun fact. Well, the gunfight was really cool. Yeah, that was fun. It was worth 10 bucks. I mean, yeah. at first we were like, 10 bucks? That's kind of pricey. Well, you for... get tickets for other things too with it. Yeah, which so we didn't know. Didn't so you know get a too. copy of the newspaper from the Epitaph, yeah. and then you get um, access to one of these other uh, museums over here, uh -huh. and you get to see the gunfight. The gunfight, uh, the whole 
thing lasts about 20 25 minutes yeah which is very cool um they do have pictures up here that say that you need permission to film or to use your uh, photographs other than personal use yeah which we do so we check with them and so big thank you to the okay corral staff and, yeah, and tim. tim who gave us permission to uh use some of this footage and and uh, photographs for the yeah. uh for the youtube channel very so we cool. appreciate that tim was actually the guy who played morgan morgan er, in the in this yeah. show so he's a very cool guy and uh, we appreciate you letting us film today and now we're gonna get something to eat Yes. At the uh, OK, okay Cafe, Cafe. <laughs> and then we're gonna explore uh, Tombstone a little bit more. We're gonna go check out the courthouse. Yeah. Uh, there's an old tombstone, a little town over there, and then we'll probably go and check out the uh, cemetery. Yes. We're and see going where to the uh, we just saw a couple of those guys die. They're actually <laughs> buried here in Tombstone, yeah. right up on the hill. So we'll go look at that too. Just a short walk from uh, the OK Corral. We're down here at Wyatt Earp's house now. Yes. Um, it's for sale. <laughs> I, I know, it's weird. Why is Wyatt Earp's house for sale? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if we can go inside because I don't know if it's for sale. I guess it's like a private owner thing, it's but it says house and museum. Yeah. I don't know, anyway, I there's a statue know. of what, if you're in the market for a uh, gunslinger's house, there's there's one for sale here in Tombstone. You can buy Wyatt Earp's house apparently. I guess. Uh, hopefully they'll let us go in and see. Yeah. Uh, maybe we'll pretend like we're interested. Yeah, we're potential buyers. Yeah. <laughs> like uh, yeah, we're very interested in this house. Wyatt Earp, I never heard of him. We're just interested in the house. house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, the town area is very cool. Yes. Lots of history out there. It's just really cool just to walk down the streets of Tombstone. So, yeah. Knowing the history of it. Yeah. And uh, lots of, it's very touristy. Very, yeah, um, but it's cool. Lots the, of shops. All the saloons. And... Yeah, and you get to see the Birdcage Theater is there. Yeah. Uh, the Oriental, uh -huh. you know, their old Big Nose Kate, yeah. Doc Holidays. <laughs> a lot of stuff is very themed around the, the people who lived here in Tombstone. And uh, we're right now we're standing in front of the, the old courthouse and we're gonna go inside there. Um, the cool part about the Birdcage was like right there, and not only there, but in different places around town there's still markers i was been gonna mention that that's cool yeah if where people were shot or killed or injured or whatever there's a spot there where virgil was shot yeah which eventually led to his death um there's a spot there where fred white the marshal yeah. was shot by curly bill right there in front of the bird cage yeah um and then they do reenactments all in the they, streets yeah uh, all over the place some are free some you got to pay for but um uh, we paid for the one at the OK Corral. There's a free one that they do out in the street. Yeah, the vigilantes. The vigilantes, which is very cool. They're funny. And um, so it's just very cool so far to be able to yeah. walk through Tombstone and see it so far. But we're going to go into the courthouse, which I think is free. It's, I believe so. I saw the thing. Because I think it's, it's like free. considered like a state park or a state historical museum or something like that. Yeah. I don't think it's like privately owned. I think it's owned by the state. So um, probably some interesting stuff in there too. Yeah. We'll go see. Okay.
this is probably one of the coolest and creepiest parts of <laughs> yeah. the whole touring of the courthouse is the gallows yeah. where Very seven cool. people were killed out here uh, on these gallows um I had, there's a list of the names over there on the thing but uh it's just very creepy. I think this is the first time I've actually seen one in person. Well, we saw, oh, we saw one at the prison in, in uh, St. Augustine. Augustine, Florida. Yeah. Yeah, behind the prison where it they hung single, people. And they actually yeah. hung people there. But yeah, this is a double one. And uh, I don't know. It's just creepy just to think that, mm. you know. People gathered in here. Gathered in here and then the trap door fell. and Yeah. <laughs> Kicking chicken. They, Hung by their neck till their feet quit kicking. <laughs> Good times. Yeah, man. Holy. <laughs> and it's just, it's creepy out here because there's like a little bit of an echo. Yeah. And you're on the outside of the, the side of the courthouse out yeah. here. And it's just the only thing out here is just, I guess this is the, the holding eh, staging area. <laughs> I guess you get to sit there and watch them prepare for your death, <laughs> which is yeah. not fun. I'd rather just be walked out and and be done with it other than you know, probably sitting out here and then people are probably coming out here to watch it and you're get, you're in here yeah. getting ready to get hung they're probably poking you with sticks and stuff like hey you ready to die oh -ho! that's what you would have done wouldn't it i uh, probably <laughs> i probably would have poked you're an somebody. instigator i would have poked somebody you would. <laughs> like hey, hey wish you hadn't have done that now don't you <laughs> how don't you <laughs> You would have been shot at a young age. And you I probably would have been the guy in the. I probably would have been the guy in the thing getting poked by the you, stick. You grew up in that era. You wouldn't have lived long. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be cool if you could go up there. They won't let you go up there. I know. It'd be I cool would to have go loved up there. Going up there. Because I'd probably accidentally hang myself somehow. <laughs> so that, that's probably why they won't let people go up there. <laughs> oh yeah. Wish you hadn't done it now, huh? 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 Poke me one more time. <laughs> what are you going to do? Look where you're going. Look where you're headed. Right out there. Huh? Huh? Come at me with the stick one more time. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I'll poke you. <laughs> well, we made it down here to the uh, Boot Hill Graveyard. Yeah. Where three of the guys who were killed at the OK Corral are buried. Mm -hmm. Billy Clanton, Tom McCleary, and Frank McCleary. Yes. Are all three buried here. Along with uh, Frank White, yeah. who was the marshal who was killed by Curly Bill in the streets of Tombstone. And I'm sure that there's more notables that are buried out here Probably. also. So we're going to go out here and explore through the, uh, through the graveyard. We'll take you along with us. The, uh, the courthouse was very cool. Very interesting courthouse. It wasn't just about the Earps and, the, and that kind of history. It was the history of the whole of town, the town and everything. Yeah. So there was a lot of it about the Earps and, and the gambling and bat yeah, and doc holiday and all that stuff aspect of it but um the, the really the coolest part i think was the court room it was a cool court room it, it seemed very uh original i don't think they've changed much no and it was creepy because there was a guy in there doing paranormal activity stuff yeah he had all meter his, and everything and so i was like oh. yeah he had all his equipment <laughs> and he's kicking on all if of his you're stuff here, and I don't i'm like know i want to be here <laughs> <laughs> like you're gonna tell me if there's ghosts right? right so i can get the hell out of here before it gets crazy but uh, no, it was cool just to see the uh the just the arrangement of the old courtroom yeah and then you just kind of think about like what kind of cases went through seven, there and was, they did yeah. they hanged seven people there so yeah, there was so at least trials. seven trials <laughs> where they were sentenced to hang right out in the back in yeah. the gallows Almost right, right could behind see it out the window yeah so a very cool history yeah and just kind of you get that feel yeah when you're there they like Wow, there's some really cool stuff that took it place, place here. here yeah. And now I'm excited to go see the graveyard. Yes. so interesting already yeah we just barely got in here we're just like this little corner here already and there's already like we've already seen the, the guys who were killed at the okay corral yeah. we've already seen them and we've seen murders suicide, suicide by strict nine yeah diphtheria Dip, a couple diphtheria deaths which yeah 
There was one that was killed by Apaches. Wasn't an immunization yet. So. And then there's one over here. This big, uh, big guy right here. Yeah. With this thing coming. It just says two cowboys drowned. And no story. But they got a heck of a cactus growing out. Garden their grave. The but, ones were like this. Long. Yeah. So far, some very interesting, cool stuff. <laughs> uh, we'll show you more. There's, we've just seen just this much, but it's already so cool already. Yeah. So we're gonna see. They a bunch. do give you a good book on everybody that's here and how they died so yeah if interesting it, if stuff it's not marked it's and there's some book. young children here too only yeah, a few months uh, old some of them but yeah. you know of course back then illnesses easier to die at a younger age back then yeah very cool though oh man i can't wait to see the rest Well, a couple more suicides and Indians and there was a cowboy killed by a stampede. Yeah. One old fellow was killed by a Chinaman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird to see that. <laughs> it's just, it's, they're here, very blunt on these things. Yeah. And here lies Lester Moore. Yes. Four slugs from a 44. No less, no more. This was actually in the movie Tombstone. Yeah. This headstone was in the movie Tombstone <laughs> at uh, one of the... Uh, I think it was toward the beginning of the of the movie when they're panning up through this. Uh, they did some shots here in the in the cemetery, but that's uh, that's what made Lester Moore's Morris. grave more famous than some of the others because he was actually made the film. So, yeah, pretty cool to see in person. Yeah, <laughs> they're very interesting deaths here, man. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I saw a couple more interesting ones. There was a baby that was got um, a one year old given some medication. Yeah, calomel. I guess it was given for yellow fever and stuff back in the day. After ha, had a it, bad reaction to eating an orange. Well, it, after I guess they went home from the doctor. Yeah, and after eating an orange, salivated and died. Yeah, that's insane. Which, it has mercury in it, right? So maybe yeah, they they're allergic that stuff to mercury. For a long, long time. That's probably why they don't use it anymore because people will be dying. We've well, seen some other interesting ones. There was, uh, we did see Fred White's grave. Yes. Uh, he mm -hmm. was the marshal that was killed by Curly Bill. Mm -hmm. And um, that was actually ruled an accident. And Curly Bill didn't go to jail for that. Yeah. So he got off for that. And um, there's a guy killed that. Killed by Indians? Yeah. There was a guy that was accidentally hung because. This he, fella right here. George Johnson. Yeah. Oh, he's the the one that sold. Yeah. Had he, he bought a stolen horse. A horse. Yeah, and they assumed he did it. They thought he was a horse thief, and they hanged him. That's just terrible. <laughs> I'm laughing because his, his tombstone is so funny. Look, it says, "Here lies George Johnson, hanged by mistake. He was right. We was wrong. We strung him up, and now he's gone." <laughs> <laughs> You're terrible. But how bad is that, man? That, this dude terrible. just bought a stolen horse and they strung him up, killed him. I mean, could you imagine in this day and age if you were caught in a stolen car and they just killed you? They should kill you for being in a stolen car. <laughs> Not by mistake, I'm saying. If you steal a car, you should. It should be the same as a horse thief back in the day. Matter of fact, they should still hang people out in front of the courthouse. I, I'm a big fan of an eye for an eye, but... I'd go to a hanging. I know you would. I'd poke them with a stick before they got hanged. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, definitely interesting place here. Yeah. At this cemetery. Way more interesting than I thought it was going to be. Lots of stories here. I'm yeah. glad they gave you this little handout yes. because otherwise you wouldn't really know the stories behind a lot of these. Because yeah. some of them just says killed, killed. Shot. shot, shot by Ormsby. <laughs> And then you go around the road and you see Ormsby. It says shot. So he guess Ormsby got what was coming to him. He got an eye for an eye. Yeah. <laughs> well, some of them say who shot him, some don't. So, some yeah. say, you know, killed in a card fight or, or uh, uh, they died in a uh, cockfight disagreement. There was. <laughs> <laughs> You're fighting over a cockfight win yeah. and somebody died. Died in a card game, shot at a card game okay. or yeah. whatever. Uh, and then some just said like, you know, two Chinamen. Just two Chinamen dead. 
right here. I don't know why. Which is a little racist. It is. Well, it was the 1800s, I 1880s, know. so it's a little, little weird. But definitely very cool. Worth coming to the cemetery, at least, anyway. Yeah. Uh, we hope you enjoyed coming with us at Tombstone. <laughs> we had a really good time today. Yes. Learned a lot of stuff. Sure did. This Man. is great. Yeah. Yeah, you definitely need all day to do it, I think. Absolutely. We started about 10 o'clock this morning, went to the OK Corral. You know, and then lunch and then walk the streets of tombstone and the courthouse and then i heard to the cemetery yeah. and so it's been a long day yeah but it's very cool um stick around for a few seconds we're going to honor a fallen hero and uh, if you want to get involved with helping us help veterans out on the road everything you need to know is down in the description of the video appreciate you watching and we'll see you next time bye, bye.